is uh, Phil Trudley. I work for a company called Dunstan Thomas Consulting and today we're going to address the discussion centered around business process model and notation or commonly known as BPMN, specifically BPMN 2.0. The reason why it was created was specifically to address modeling of business processes in the business environment. UML does produce process flow diagrams known as activity diagrams but they're not event driven. So the choice the analyst had to make was to combine two separate diagrams, state driven diagrams and flow driven diagrams. BPMN combines the best of both worlds and allows the business analyst to model the business environment as it's intended. BPMN was originally just a single diagram, process flow, but it only addresses one stakeholder, the business analyst. Managers are becoming increasingly aware that they need to be informed about how the business works so they can make strategic decisions. BP Men didn't have that. So it was completely overhauled in June 2010. And this offered four layers of abstraction known as conversation, choreography, collaboration, and process. The conversation gives high-level management an overview of what the business is and to whom that business is interacting. This is known as a BPMN conversation diagram, and this gives an overview. It basically states who is involved, what conversation do they have. One thing that EA is very, very strong at is the ability to trace, link, navigate. So typically, the business analyst would start off with a conversation diagram. This one is a fairly simple example. It is a typical high street bank offering an unsecured personal loan. These symbols here represent the conversations that take place. So typically, when applying for a loan, you will either walk into the bank or you'd apply online. The loan will be finalized and there will be some kind of credit check. This diagram it does not indicate what happens when things go wrong, when you don't get credit, and so on and so forth. Choreography just concentrates on business to business message exchange, so potentially you could identify bottlenecks in that way. The process and collaboration are very similar, and those are the heart of BPMN, which is its process modeling, which can also be linked down to orchestration of software uh, systems and services. So all stakeholders are covered by BPMN, hence its appeal and growing appeal in the industry. If I double click this applicant's bank, what I can do is I can drill down into the overall process for that application. BPMN brings in the best of both worlds. Process flow, as indicated by the typical diamond shape, should we say, and also events which are shown by these circular uh, symbols here. So what happens is the BA, the business analyst, can model the business as the business. This can then be taken down the software development lifecycle stream to what are known as process engineers. They would then wire up, for want of a better word, the BPMN flow to software services which have been written by the development team. So this then goes into an execution engine, which then basically runs the process. So in theory, the end result, the software, behaves precisely as the business process will behave should it be conducted manually. This is kind of a Naverna which people are aiming towards. One of the failings in BPMN 1.1 was that all intermediate events were known as interrupting. So say for example you had a process which encountered some difficulty, the only way it could be modelled was to abandon that process and do something else. Which of course in reality is not necessarily true. Because what in, in business you may abandon a process but in parallel conduct some ancillary process which alleviates the original problem. That has now been addressed in BPMN 2.0 is what is known as a non-interrupting event. We have a proven track record uh, with clients both from the 
financial sector up in London, right the way through to such diverse things as aerospace, aeronautics, which surprisingly also use business process modeling. Um, we have had overseas clients. We've delivered uh, BPMN training to overseas as well as UK uh, very successfully. And this has been where um, clients didn't know the features of BPMN. They weren't sure what it could do for them. And the feedback from them is, yes, this has worked for us. This here is known as an element library. EA provides a productivity aid called a reusable element which allows you to define something once and reuse it many, many, many times on multiple diagrams so you get a consistent look and feel. And what I like to do is put these into libraries. So I have a library of pools, a library of processes. We bring a lot of practical experience to the table and that's why you should go with us. Mm -hmm.